Bowman here from BW1.com. I've been getting a lot of your questions lately about Windows 8. And I want to answer one of the questions real quickly here, and that is all about the dual monitor setup. A lot of people have been asking me, how does a dual monitor setup work within Windows 8? So this is pretty much how it works. When you first install Windows 8 and you have a dual monitor setup, whether it's desktop or you have a laptop that you have a monitor connected to, a second secondary screen you have connected to, you're going to be presented with this. The main screen is going to have the new sort of start screen here, and then you're going to see the desktop here on the other side. And basically to access your desktop to, to easily, you can just go hit the desktop uh, um, app right here at the bottom like that, brings you to the main screen here. What you'll notice here is at the bottom now, that's different from previous versions of Windows, is that your taskbar here with all your apps and such is on both screens, and it's actually duplicated. So whatever you see here on this side, it's going to be on this side as well too. They don't act as separate uh, taskbars. But um, you pretty much have the same functionality the way that you had before. If you want to open up a, you know, a folder, you can go right across and expand right across like that, as you normally would. Like most people do with a dual monitor setup. But let's say um, you, know, you can snap windows as well, too. You can still snap stuff to the side and stuff like that. She did it before. But the interesting thing that you can do here is that you have the start charms and the start menu can show up on either side. So if you go here to the side like this, in the corner, you'll see the should see the charms pop up right there. Even though I'm on this monitor here on monitor number one, it's on the left here, and the same thing can show up here on monitor number two on this side. You can also have the start menu come up on here as well by going down to the bottom here and on the bottom here. You just click. Now you can have the start menu here on uh, screen on this side if you want to to navigate anything you need to do in a start screen, of course. You can also, um, let's bring it back here. You can also do the same multitasking features as well too. So you can go look and see what was last opened. If I have anything open, I have nothing open here. Actually, I don't. Let's go ahead and open up an application. Let's uh, let's just open up. Uh, let's open up. Uh, let's see. It's travel app for for example. And well, actually, you can see I have the app opened up here. All desktops over here. Now, while you have the app open, you can't click back here to make a dual desktop, but you can still actually interact here on this side. So you can bring up something like your web browser or something brings it up uh, back home here and you can actually have it here on this side while you go back to the application. So what you want to do is you can see here you have the multitasking feature and you can still do it on either screen. So let's say I want to leave this on here. I want to do the multitask here. So you can click to bring that app up. You can split screen the app if you want to. You can uh, bring it to this side if you want to. Pretty cool. So you can interact with it. You can almost basically have three screens of interaction. And um, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and uh, Let's close the app out here. Let's go ahead and head back to the menu here, and let's open up another app. Let's open up the let's open up the uh, this Bing app here, and as you can see as you can be in Bing. Come back here. You can interact with your the uh, interact with the browser if you want to look up a few things if you want to as well too. Exit out of that. Come back over here. So you basically have the ability to kind of use the start screen and the desktop sort of simultaneously at the same time do some pretty cool things like move them from side to side get your multitask if you want to as well too it's pretty cool stuff and you see my mail pop up here but you kind of get the idea so that's basically how um windows 8 deals with dual monitor support you actually get quite a few more features that you normally get with the standard one, which is kind of just expanding your screen and you really didn't get any more functionality with it. This one gives you a little more functionality with it, allowing you to kind of play with both screens in different ways, whatever kind of setup that you want to at that particular time. So this is Bowman here from BW1.com. If you have any more questions about Windows 8, please post them below. Post them at our website at BW1.com and any of our social networks. Also subscribe to our YouTube page. Follow us on all our social networks, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest. The link to that is in the description. And always remember, to live your tech world in high definition.